We're hearing from the family and the sheriff's office about this developing story. First Coast News spoke to the people who shot this video, appearing to show a man on the ground with several officers around him. The video does not show the injuries to his face, but when he sits up, you can see swelling around his eyes. On your side, Zach Wilcox joining us live from the intersection of Powers Avenue and Toledo Road, where all of this happened yesterday. Zach, we've been getting a lot of phone calls and things into our newsroom about this, uh, but police, they're already looking into this as well. Yeah, Destiny, this is certainly on Jacksonville Sheriff's Office radar. They've already, they said that they take all allegations of police brutality seriously and that they are already having an administrative review on this incident and on this arrest yesterday. So we, uh, that video that we've gotten permission to use, the video that's gone viral quite a bit, is about four minutes long and you don't really see that where it all begins, but the initial thing that you see is where he's already on the ground. You have the two officers over him. A lot of it is kind of blocked by the car that's there, so we don't want to speak specifically to what we're seeing in that video, but we did talk with the family of the man on the ground. They confirmed that it is 24-year-old Lakian Woods. They mentioned he had just left his grandmother's house. He was on his way to go to the gas station, the convenience store. It had been about 10 minutes when uh, he was pulled over, and they have brought in Harry Daniels, who is a civil rights attorney, who put out a press release on the family's behalf today, who mentioned that the family said that this traffic stop began with a seatbelt violation. Again, a lot of the details, we're still waiting for those to come together, but we did talk with, as you mentioned, Ruby Anderson, who was uh, the woman who filmed this, about what it was like being out there while this was going on, and also you know, what compelled her to have her phone out to go ahead and get uh, all of this caught on video. Well, I felt really bad and sad for the young man, and his father was uh, there, you know, came there in a wheelchair, and he was asking us to, to please call his, the boy's mama and everything because uh, he was saying that how they done beat his son up and his face was so swollen and everything. Woods is being held on a few drug charges as well as uh, resisting an officer. On the south side, Zach Wilcox, First Coast News, on your side. All right, thank you so much, Zach. Jacksonville Sheriff TK Waters addressed the use of force investigation during a crime walk this morning. Here's what he said. We'll review those body cams, and eventually you will see the body cams, and you're going to see contextual information start to finish. You won't see a clip of a video um, that loops over and over again. You won't, you won't see that. You'll see video in context, but we have to do a full and complete investigation.